Alright, so to recap, you guys all went to the leader of Cybertron's annual State of the Union address. Quasar blew him up. Since this was standing over his corpse, all four of you got detained. There was an attempted jailbreak by the Decepticon leader. It went horribly wrong. It turns out Trypticon Prison Facility wasn't just a cute name. So you had that to deal with. Uh, Trypticon was very mad about having bulls blown in him, but you guys managed to get the, the happy sleepy juice turned back on. So he's just sleeping it off somewhere in the desert. And you guys went into a cave and talked to God. Yay, God. Wow. Praise be to Primus. Alright, so, uh... The Transformers that are so Christian and other bits that aren't. <laughs> Alright, so picking up where we left off, what do? I'm taking that nap. Yeah, so right now we're just standing in the cave where we were talking to God, huh? In the depths of Cybertron. Yeah. Are we all taking a nap? God. Sure. That would be nice, but we should probably what? at least get back to the other survivors of the... I guess technically that was a prison break. But yeah. also yeah. the prison was kind of going to crush us all to death inside it, so... Yeah. I, I don't. We were. Either way, we were told by McAdam, who just knows things. Don't worry about it. And by we, I mean Harrier was. The rest of us don't know this. That hey, you're far enough from Icon. You should just sleep and start in the morning. So. Um, just so we're clear, I did have the communicator on speaker. I kind of figured. I had no reason not to. All right. So I imagine Rotor would be like, like pacing back and forth and like talking to herself a lot instead of like act, like trying to shut off. That's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, Harry would fall asleep where they stood, uh, right after Primus stopped talking. That's impressive. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, I mean, he was asleep in a broom closet, presumably with all the cleaning supplies still. So, no, that makes sense. And it was a surprisingly roomy cleaning closet. It was. Alright, so just fast forward to morning. Yeah. So the following morning, y'all just slept right next to Primus's core vault thingy. <laughs> it's honestly probably very cozy and soothing. You know? It's surprisingly warm. Yeah, it's like sleeping nice. next to a campfire. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, something that occurred to me last night at a game, but also in game, possibly occurred to is that we never introduced ourselves to each other. We oh, have no clue right. who everyone else is. Oh, yeah. I've been going along with this. I think I, I think I asked if I recognized anybody, um, and it was just like another Decepticon drone in the same room or something like that, I forget. Yeah. We don't right. each other at all. We should probably actually, now that we've woken up from a night of whatever the heck we did overnight, because <laughs> it depends on who's who, since it's also probably just laid face down on the ground and was just out <laughs> until morning. I, I cannot. I, I need to reiterate. Harry sl st sleeps standing up. Oh, Quasar slept upside down like a bat. <laughs> Adorable. In robot or dragon mode? Dragon mode. What, you mean you didn't Dracula this for us? You were just fine. I'll Dracula this run. He slept. He slept in his bot mode. It would be kind of weird just to have a dragon hanging up from upside down. Yeah. If any of those <laughs> other survivors walked in at that moment, they'd be terrified. Like, huh? Yeah. I mean, they'd probably still be terrified. I and mean, it's either walk into a dragon hanging up like a bat or sleep next to the kaiju. They aren't good options. Or we're, so we're just, we, we just let them fend for themselves out the night? We didn't, like, go and get them or anything? I mean... And if we recall last session, they really didn't want to go in that cave. They had a, they you know what, had that's a feeling that, basically, we, were, we felt the call to action and answered it. And they felt the call to action and went, I'm not getting involved in that prophecy, uh... <laughs> no, no, no. They heard the call to inaction. Nah. They just yeah. felt in their sparks that they weren't the main characters. Yeah. Uh, the main prime plot group is over off on Earth doing things right now. They are so over there, and over there can deal with its own problems. Primus looked at the planet and went, all right, these four will have to work. <laughs> They'll do. This was like my fourth or fifth, fifth option, if we're being honest. Yeah. All right. Ouch. So... We wake up in the morning. 
Yeah. You don't like pee, did he? And you step outside, and we'll you take, take a deep, deep breath. breath. And I guess this is gonna be just. I just realized we never actually introduced ourselves, did we? We just sort of went along with it and dragged each other along for things. Oh yeah, I guess we should kind of. If we're gonna be working together to help God, we probably should. Inter Hi, I'm Quasar. He in extends like a giant hand over to you. Although I guess it'd be kind of like a normal hand to you. About the same size. Like, hello. Howdy. Synthesis. Uh, my friends call me Synthy when I have them. <gasps> Synthy. That's adorable. What about, what about to our. Is, uh, is Rorderback still sleeping? <laughs> uh, no, no. I, I imagine I didn't sleep at all, and I've been, like, like pacing back and forth, like, nervously, like, talking to myself, like, just trying to, like, comprehend this whole thing right now. Um, mm -hmm. But if we started introducing each other, I would eventually be all like, uh, yeah, I'm Rotorback. Nice to meet you all. That's some cool visor you got there, my friend. <laughs> Uh, thanks. Um, I don't remember who gave it to me, but, uh, my originals got busted. That's fair. Oh. Well, what about you, little one? I'm talking. Look asleep. over for Harry. Harry is still asleep. Oh. <laughs> We've I, I guess I'll go, like, nudge him with my foot. We've established Harry is not a morning bot. But, hello? Are you still alive? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Five more cycles. Cycles are days, my good sir. <laughs> I days. know what I said. <laughs> May have to be clicks. Clicks is closer to that. That's still ours, I think, but we're immortal. I think it's for nano a minutes or whatever. Nano cycles? Nano click. Now click. Now click is a uh, a minute. I know what I I know what I said. That's fair. Should we? Also, um, Harry uh, rotates. Rotates. <laughs> he can't exactly roll while standing up, now can he? Oh, now with that attitude. I thought he meant like his head, like Exorcist or something. Like he's just like yeah, watching us like... with his eyes closed. Oh, wait, you're standing up? I'm just gonna push you then. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Primus in the background. These are the four I am stuck with. Um, should I roll anything to stay up? Roll oh, conditioning. Who? Uh, Harry to see if he's still standing. Oh, okay. Or Quasar can roll for an unarmed strike. That also works. I will also do that. I, I guess you're... I guess you're contesting that 14. I got... I think I also got 14. Roll Elise, roll Elise. I'm gonna use D&D &D rules for this and say that since it hit the 14, you successfully push him over. Yay! But it's more of like a, just like a little, like a little, a little push. Just like with the back of my hand, just a little... Eh. A you backhand him? <laughs> no! <laughs> don't. No, I don't most, backhand him. The most gentle of flicks. I just like, eh. A boop. Exactly. A boop. Can I argue I evade this in my sleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a feature where even if I shouldn't be able to, I can use evasion. You are you asleep, my good sir. Fine. Uh, 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 huh? Uh, oh, right, let's look at it. Um... Okay. Did someone die? I mean, yeah, but what's your name? We're all introducing ourselves. Oh, um, it's uh, Hurricane Harry. Uh, friends call me Harry or Hurry, Hurry Harry, whatever, any combination, whatever. Hurry Harry. You haven't earned that yet. No, no, no. Were you like really good at breaking stuff or? Like, how'd you get that name? Um, I w it was given to me. How did you get your name, Orbeck? Did you earn it? Uh, or... 
I mean, I guess, and I just kind of turn around and, like, wiggle my hump at you. Oh, I don't uh, like the way you phrase that. <laughs> I'm gonna for a second. Wizard just awkwardly hump. stares at you. <laughs> I haven't had somebody wiggle their hump at me in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should not have been drinking. <laughs> I think that's a bit that might need to get cut for us. <coughs> I'm sorry. No, Wait, that's what? not bad. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I, I, I took off my phone for like 10 seconds. What happened? You don't want to know. <laughs> it's literal, though. It's a hump. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, I know. It's just funny to make jokes about it, you see. It's not that it's funny. It's, sorry, I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I apologize. Okay, so I heard um, what's the face say your name pointing to the order back. I saw your name on the news pointing at Quasar. Uh, what's your name? Um, pointing at Synthesis. It's Synthesis. Good to meet you. Properly, mm. please. Likewise. So, how do we feel about uh? literal god being right beside us like you said yesterday i think you had on speaker that you knew somebody that was like really old yeah yeah mcadam he's my um landlord slash boss yeah hmm uh does synthesis recognize the name or will i have to roll like streetwise or whatever to um yeah, let's do streetwise. Can I roll as well? Because I don't think. I'm yeah, sure. sure. All right. Advantage um, in that. I. Mm. I don't oh. have anything. I'm also gonna roll a culture check you asked me to do, um, um, but I forgot about. Ah, yes. Oh, that's a two. I got a Wait. fifteen. Uh, I got two. Nine. I got a one. Surprising nobody. All right, so. No. For that culture check, which is completely unrelated to McAdam right now. Um, Harry, not that you would know this, but there's a video trending of uh, top 10 Autobot fails during the Great War. You're on the thumbnail with a big red circle and an arrow pointing at your face. <laughs> and you smacking face first against the Ark is number two. <laughs> what one? Number one was... Is the Zeta Prime Games head ripped off? That was an honorable mention. No <laughs> Number one was Opt Optimus Prime being dismantled and turned into an alligator for funsies. I'm sorry, what? Yes. Canon? Yes. Is this, is this setting? It is now. That was, in fact, a thing. Oh, <laughs> my God. Is All right. Visions from Earth? Yeah, do we? Uh, do we? I guess we do lizards. now. You four specifically would not even know what Earth is. Mm. This is like the Cybertron equivalent of YouTube. Uh, you know, uh, Harry, I think you, you look kind of familiar, didn't I see you? I saw you also when you were flicking the channels. What was that about? Uh, yeah, um, you know how about the whole, um, ARC business? Would I know about the ARC business? Yeah, it was a pretty big deal when it happened. Yes. Yeah, I, I was trying to get there, but I was late, so I tried to, um, make a jump. Uh-huh. Uh, as you can see, since I'm here, it didn't go well. Were you were you pointing at something? Sorry. I I was gesturing at myself. Oh okay. Because he's on. Do you have like a? Instead of on the arc, on the Because he's on Cybertron at all right now. Oh okay. I was like, what are you doing? Why are you pointing at yourself? Do you have a dent or something? Are, are you sure you? Are you sure your smart score is as high as it is? <laughs> okay, shuck. Quasar's smarts are high. Jet storms are not. All right, so circling back, uh, rotor back, 15. Yeah, you've been to McAdams pretty often. Pretty friendly barkeep. And you're not, like, good friends or anything, but you do, you do know him. Yeah. Uh, what did everyone else get? I got two. You have no idea who McAdam is. Uh, since this was a nine, you know the bar. It's basically Iacon's favorite hangout area, but you don't know anything about the man himself. He's I've probably been there before, but, like, it's been a while. Uh, I really need to come up with, like, a character voice for Synthesis. Right. Well, if we have a lead, I 
I guess we should follow it. Uh, do we, do we even know where we are right now? Middle of nowhere. City outskirts. I vaguely recall on McAdam saying we were like six hour drive away from the city. Oh yeah. Yeah, Icon is six hours north. There's all the other survivors that presumably also would like to get to Icon, so. Trevor knows exactly. Do we, do we really want to be flying to a city in the middle of the day? After we just broke out of one of the most famous prisons on Cybertron. I mean, did anybody snitch? I mean, oh, are, isn't everybody going to be really distracted by the giant dinosaur stomping around blowing things up? And, like, also, I'm pretty sure at least one of the survivors is the guard who Synthesis pulled his, like, literally yanked out. Went, the one who gave us the lead on the, uh, NSC, if that's stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, we weren't we mm. weren't charged with anything. We were just detained. None of us were charged with anything, and I'm pretty sure that Cybertron does not have uh, Labelle Law, which is why immediately he's like, "Ah, Quasar and Wanted poster, blah blah blah." Um, still though, there might be people going after me. I don't want to get you guys in trouble as well. We could. You said it was a six-hour drive, but why not wait, like, a few hours in the afternoon so that's kind of dark by the time we get there? I'll, I'll be honest. My, my, my answer is just, I don't want to be out in the middle of the desert. That's and, fair. Oh boy, it looks like this might end up being since voice. This is great. Um, <laughs> she smokes a pack a day. I've only got, I've only got, like, two sort of character voices, and I... I don't think that this is the sort of vibe that Synthesis has at all. That's fair. Her job is so <laughs> it's stressful. Kind of, Her it's contrast. <laughs> Her job is so stressful that she smokes a pack of uh, death sticks every day. <laughs> and it's, it's, I need a way that makes it clear when it is and isn't me, because I'm bad at remembering to narrate. That's so fair. It's in mm -hmm. I'd rather not be out in the desert all day, and I can't Fly? Do you have an alt mode? Are you a, uh, a ground person? <laughs> Our job! H how Synthesis how how is gonna stare Quasar dead in the eyes and gesture at the tires on the sides of her head. Uh, how, Listen, how, it's how, dark and in on here. Her feet. How stupid do you think we are? You hear Primus <laughs> in the background, do you want the answer to that question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a long day. A lot's been going on. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. It's just essentially if we travel in a big group, usually the enforcers are less likely to immediately bring out deadly force. That's true. So like if we all travel like as a group and honestly some of the survivors might need a bit to get back together enough to transform and drive the six hours. So. That's true as well. What do you guys think? We're back, uh, Harry. I mean, I was thinking that we could just take the survivors since, you know, they were caught up in this mess too and take them to the city. And like Synthesis said, uh, less likely to look suspicious if we're part of a large group returning from a incident. That's true. It might also look good on us if we bring back people and say, hey, these people need help. It's not like the most importantest job in the whole universe. Why even bother? We should just focus on getting the things for Primus. Yeah, but like, who would believe us if we told them that was what happened? Mm. So the, big, the big thing with the, oh, why don't we just do it, is that our one lead is also in Iacon. So we have to go to Icon anyway. And also my stuff stare, so that's also a thing. Yeah, and that's also where should, stuff lives. Should we call him to let him know that we're coming? Nah. <laughs> he, he knows what happened already, apparently, so like... He could tell us what's going on outside of his place. I mean, it's better than us trying to do reconnaissance ourselves. That's true. Very true, very true. Well, uh, Synthesis so could probably communicate her again. Yeah. Also, I'm just realizing that since um, 
since this is communicator size for them, I'm basically holding a brick. Nineties <laughs> 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 cell phone. Yeah. All right. Beep boop 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 beep boop boop up. I'm on hold. Ah, uh, hello! You have reached McAdams' old oil house. Unfortunately, I can't get to the phone right now, so leave a message after the beep. Beep! Hey, McCom. Uh, that's me, Harry. Um, he picks up the phone. Harry! What's up, my buddy? Hey, boss. Uh, okay, so we're going to start heading back from the cave you told us about. Um, um, can you tell? So, like, should we be expecting anything when we get there, or? Nah, yeah, everything's business as usual, Harry. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring some acquaintances over. Uh, well, I want to talk to you about something. Uh, I'm, good rent. I'm good. I'm good for that. So. Ah, uh, excellent, Harry. You'll be the Comrades and arms by the time this is all over. And he hangs up. I swear I think he's psychic. <laughs> Man, he really... He's... I've met a lot of weird bots. I've met a lot of bots. He's... He's pretty weird. I don't know, right? This is great. He lets me live in the closet. Like, is that what you call it? Or is it an actual closet? It's an actual closet. Ah, oh, okay. He owns that whole building. There's got to be empty rooms that aren't closets. <laughs> I, mean, I don't pay. I barely pay rent, so it's it's whatever. You don't pay rent. I do labor. Yeah, your rent is whatever rare odd jobs he gives you. Exactly. So I technically pay rent. <laughs> labor for food and board situation. I pay with my body. Um. <laughs> 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 You what? Uh, we... <laughs> All right. So, do we want to so... go check on the Good night, everybody. We're <laughs> 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 <Or sorry. laughs> um... Am I going to have to cut that out? <laughs> no. I, I think you're good. Okay. Uh, I mean, this, is, this might be PG-13 instead of PG, but it's, you know, it's a close call. No, 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 no. In rating sports. If we get through on Animaniacs, it could get through here. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I can live with that. Yeah, so I guess I'm assuming the four of us tromp back up to the, the entrance of the cave where the survivors are yeah. at this point. Yeah. yeah. And so right. as you're doing that, Primus says, WAIT! Uh oh. Uh. Fucking, I jump out of my skin. No. Yeah. First and foremost. You must locate the one known as Alchemist Prime, for his artifact will be integral in finding the others. And that is... Primus is gone. Hello? Hello? Can Hello? you hear me now? Are you there? Yeah. It's me, Synthesis. <laughs> God is no... I actually got disconnected. <laughs> God is no longer speaking to you. Uh. Yeah, that's fair. Alchemist, uh, um, alchemist. Alchemist means, like, chemistry, right? Uh, anybody know any chemists? I mean, I mean, like, um, brewing counts as alchemy, right? Like, mm. he, does anyone know how I, old McAdam is? I guess uh, that's a no. Um, scratching my chin, thinking about it. Older, older than Primus himself. <laughs> He's like a bismillion years old or whatever. He's been around longer than like the whole faction and the war thing. And yeah. Anyway, uh, Harry's gonna go, uh, stroll up to the other people of the cave. Now we actually mosey our way on out. Yeah. Right. They've just Morgan, been Morgan, Morgan. they've just been like sitting in a circle next to Tripticon. Tripticon is gone now. What? Uh, mm. He waddled away. Oh. When did that happen? <laughs> While you guys were asleep. 
Yeah, it has been like ten hours. Makes sense. Okay. I'm surprised we didn't hear him. I mean, we no. were really in that cave, so. Yeah. Honestly, they're probably surprised, surprised we wandered back out of the cave alive within the day. <laughs> well, hey, everybody, good news. Oh, hey. I thought you guys got eaten in there or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, who's down for a uh, road trip back to, what's the city again? Iacon. Iacon, yeah. You live there, Harry. <laughs> you live there. It's, it's first thing in the morning. Give, give me some slack. Do we Sorry. see any... Sorry, do we see any, like, flyers or anything in the air right now? No. Clear skies. Hmm... I guess I'll meet you there. What do you mean? You just well, gonna go fly? I guess you fly too. You could come with me. I, I don't know. Um, I would like to go check to see how the survivors are doing. Is like anybody looking particularly rough? Maybe. I would say any particularly serious injuries were patched up by Synthesis well enough the previous day. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not right. a permanent fix, but they'll they can get through until they get back to town. Uh, is there anyone who is unable to unable to transform? I would say about half of them. So you got ten total. Five of them can't really transform. Oh. Yeah, well, a lot of people I can carry. Of their I can carry two people, but that's it. Uh. Roller back, uh, synthesis. Are you guys able to carry anybody? I Did think I... so, yeah. Did we There's decide about... how much I can carry? Uh, if I remember correctly, you have the same, like, amount of points as Quasar does, so you could carry two of them. Synthesis, okay. you were basically built for this, so you can carry one. Okay, yeah. And then we can get, is it, how many people are... Yeah. How many people can transform out of the healthy survivors? The other half, so five. Oh, okay, then they... We'll see if they can't get one person no, so for... Each of you can hold two, and I can yeah. hold one. So that's yeah. five. So everyone else yeah. is good. Well, I thought... Uh, I thought Major said that there was ten people who couldn't transform. No, there are ten total. Oh, okay. Half, half are good to transform. The uh, okay, half, all right. So um, I divvy up the ones who are injured enough that they can't transform between the yeah. three of us big player characters, and then start heading on out. Which I yeah. That way we just sort of. I'll have to see if they actually if they're actually okay with flying with me. Screaming the whole time. <laughs> I mean, being aware of it and not it being in combat will probably help with that, though. That's true. Say that. I'm None gonna, of us I'm know gonna... you're a dragon, so. No, okay, I'm gonna transform. What the scrap is that? Uh -huh. Okay. I put I put up my paws and I'm like I'm sitting on my. It's like okay, okay, now hold on. One of them is hiding behind the other. Huh? One of them's hiding behind the other. So, what kind of vehicle is that? Who? Me? Yeah, you. A dragon. What's a dragon? Yeah. I'm, I'm a dragon. I guess... I guess the term that would be known would be Predacon. But I don't... That Predacon is like... Affiliated with the Decepticons, and I'm not affiliated with the Decepticons. So, I don't know. I can just call me a dragon, I guess. But anyway, I can carry two people up on my back if I can, if anybody's okay with it. I'm going to turn to look at the survivors. I will say, watching you fumble that explanation as badly as you did, did reassure them a little bit. It's indeed. I'm not going to hurt anybody. So, injured who can't transform are going to get you divvied up. Yeah. You're being volunteered for this, right back. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Rodeback. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's for the best. 
That's Hanzo Hurst. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you good? No. Oh, what's wrong? Do you Are hug? you okay? <laughs> Do you need a big dragon hug? With every session, Rotorback just veers closer and closer to Robot Eeyore. Oh no. <laughs> Good. Well, I guess I'll make my house again. Anyway, so we're gonna get everyone divvied up and head towards Icon then, I guess. Sounds good to me. By the way, DM, what time is it? Uh, it's early in the morning. Not that Cybertron has the same clock as ours, but for our convenience, I would say it's like 8 a.m. Yeah, it's still it's still like relatively cool. We we'll be heading we'll be hitting the city by the time it gets like hot, so we'll be fine. Yeah. Alright, can yeah. someone roll me a d20 for road trip shenanigans? Oh boy, I'll, I'll roll for road trip shenanigans. Okay. Does, does Cybertron cross. have a sun or a star? Doesn't Cybertron... Cybertron has one star and I think two moons, does it not? I don't know, I thought Stop. it like depended... <laughs> Depends. One hour later. Okay, I've never so thought about it until... Unicron, what's the other one? Anyway, I got 11 for the shenanigan table. Alright, so nothing happens. Oh boy. Also, That's I've nice. literally never thought about this until now, but yeah, Cybertron has one sun and two moons. Yeah, Completely it's normal called moons. Luna 1 and Luna 2. Like, they're rock moons and everything? They aren't even, like, metal moons? Two hours later. Well, they look like they're... It looks like one's, like, a hollowed-out moon. And then the other is, like, also metal. So I think they're, they look man-made. But it's hard to tell on the continuant, continuity, continuity. They're old. Who knows? Yeah. So much later, the old narrator got tired and we had to hire a new one to take this on. They they're float around the... Cybertron, that's all that matters. We've got yep. satellites, we got moons. I never yeah. remember. I never remember seeing one, so I just kind of imagine it like didn't matter because everything's metal, but it's like freezing cold if you were actually there and you could feel it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, you guys have a nice drive slash fly. Uh, and what's on your minds? Trying to get the stupid radio to work. <laughs> Roll science. Having like a mid lifetime crisis, thinking about like, oh, I've been, everyone's been like telling me what to do, and I haven't really thought about like, it just the, the idea of like, oh, God's giving me something to do. Like, my whole life is like completely different now. It's like, wow, I'm being told to do something, and I, I don't like feel like it's just for their benefit only. Like, oh, this is as close as, like, a selfless, hey, could you do this thing? As it's yeah. Like <laughs> um, Quasar's mind is bouncing in between, God gave me a mission, oh god, I killed the ruler of Cybertron, um, and basically, like, how he's, he's also a little, like, reluctant to help Primus, given everything that's, like, happened to him. He doesn't really. I wouldn't say he. I think he doesn't trust Primus. Mm. So he's thinking about that. And uh, how they're gonna um, stay low and hidden in a big city. Now that his face is is like on TV, he's like, "Hey, this person was associated with the killing of our ruler." That for some reason people don't really seem to care about. <laughs> so that's what's going on in his mind. Harry, any thoughts? Um, honestly, so since this is strange, what to get me? It's just boy howdy! It sure has been an eventful day. Right, Harry, with that too, you break your radio even worse than it already was. God um, damn it! All right, uh, singing show tunes badly. Ah, so you're torturing your group. Got it. Just for shenanigans, roll performance. 
You mm. got the power. She got the power. The, the, the faster we finish, the faster they don't have to hear me sing. That's the motivation. I, can I fly Tw higher so I don't have oh to listen? God. 21. 21. You have, oh you have the voice chips of an angel. Country roads, take what I've done, you raised myself. Ah, oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was also going to do Lincoln Park. <laughs> Country roads, take you home. All right, we got to be careful. <laughs> oh, I am so getting... I don't think any of us are good enough at singing to actually risk a DMCA about it. Yeah, I okay. sincerely doubt it. And if it does, just put like a cruddy MIDI version underneath it. I'll just also, cover it up with my bad cover of it. Also, if we do, if we do get a DMCA for, for, this, for this Scrap. cover, that's to be some good singer. <laughs> Alright, so... Sing for backwards, sorry. Go on. I was going to say, do our voices, but backwards, so they can't tell. <laughs> oh, just that one bit. Just here, have a very fun, difficult editing bit to do. Mwahaha. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so... Do you ever need help, by the way? What? Also, I just realized I wasted my one swear. We are well past that. No, no. My swear. Oh. Everybody has to use theirs already. Yeah. Right, so with that in mind, you make it back to Icon, it's like noonish. That's not bad. I thought it was a six-hour drive. I can't do math. <laughs> It'd be two, then. Yeah, you got there faster than expected, let's put it that way. I mean, we actually went, yeah, let's actually make sure the injured who can't transform have rides instead of a trudge. Yeah, this is basically your job, so you're used to making a speedy to and from. Yep. Alright, so, uh, back in Iacon, what do? What's the... What's the vibe of the city? Are there people like fleeing or running around? Is everything kind of dead or normal or just the usual hustle and bustle? Oddly enough, huh? Can I? Oh, sorry. So I, this is really gonna be some like both to like the injured in this in her cab. You know the bay where you put the injured people in. Yeah, like, that bit like. Right. Whoever's in there, and then also like just like sort of the group overall. Just if no one has any, if none of the injured have any specific place I want to go, I could probably take you to the clinic I work at, and then split it from there. Quasar would have already untransferred back into bot mode around the uh, edges of the city, so he might not be able to get fully there be super fast but still helping people along at least yeah all, yeah all right so yeah those who need it can they're at the clinic doing clinic things yep just gonna basically like drop all the like injured off and then just try and leave without making a big deal about it <laughs> you're not gonna go see your boss and let them know you're okay Probably should do that, yeah, I guess. So I guess if... I guess I'm just gonna, like, sort of knock on the, like, front desk of the clinic with... Once all the actual injured are sort of sent off to be tended to by whoever. Alright, so the... Well, not secretary, but, like, front desk bot tells you, Oh, the... Red Alert's busy doing a limb replacement, but I can leave a message for her if you'd like. You just... You can just let her know that I'm fine, but I'll probably be... in and out schedule-wise for a little while. Alright, I will pass the message along. Click, click, click. Type, type, type. Hmm. Right. So I guess... Yeah, we can head out now, y'all. Alright, where to? I guess McAdams? McAdams! Alright! Which? McAdams is like. McAdams! Oh. Okay. Go ahead and place you know, yourselves. Right, right next to the site of the uh, assassination. I'm gonna say, isn't. Yeah, it was not far. The entrance is at the uh, the bottom there. Oh, yes, okay. Alright, so, typical hustle and bustle. 
You got three performers on this uh, floating platform doing a really epic rock song. Don't you mean metal? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, come back in. The plot needs it. <laughs> Button back. Okay. So anyway, got musicians performing. Everyone looks like they're having a good time. McAdams at the at the counter making a drink for a patron. Okay, I'm just gonna head straight over to. Hey, boss. All right, are you all heading up with them or? Yeah. Uh... <sighs> I might, like, hang back a little bit, like, within earshot. Right, cool. um, how do I place myself? It's not working. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, so, like, um, like, I don't know, like, here-ish, I guess. I'm kind of, like, looking around behind us. All right, Quasar, what are you doing? I'll, I'll sit uh, over... Oh, I can't. I don't have my thing. Hold on. I'll sit here. Oh, come on. You know, I'll just go sit beside them. All right. I'll, I'll keep an eye out on the bar. All right. So you're all at the at the front counter, basically. Yeah. 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 All right. So McAdam hears you guys walk in. He's got his back turned because he's making drinks. Ah, oh, there you are. How was your drive all the way back? He turns around, sees Quasar, and stops dead in his tracks. Oh, okay, this is a bad idea. Uh, Onyx? Don't say that out loud, I'm saying that to myself. Onyx? I... It's a long story. Uh, no, uh, it's nothing, nothing. Uh, all of you, come come on, come on back. I, got you. I imagine you have nothing but questions, come on. I very quickly follow him, because that reaction was all I needed to know. Right, I'll hop the counter and follow him. It's very difficult to catch him off guard, let me put it that way. Oh god, okay. You know, I guess I'm also gonna hop the counter? We're hopping the counter, y'all! Woo! Alright, so... Yeah, how, do you... I, how do I, like, go all the way around and squeeze through that tiny space? <laughs> I'll just move you, it's no worry. Yeah, he, he, as you uh, follow him all the way back to the actual living area, so this is where he lives. Uh, okay, so the, oh, living in the closet is not as sad as it sounds because it's off his living space. Okay. He also lives there. Yeah. Alright, so tell me, what happened? Tell me everything. Okay, so I was selling the drinks like you told me to. Um... Shockwave was doing his state of the union BS as usual. Then he blew up. Ah, oh, yeah, that'll happen. Um, I, sold, I, I did sell a drink, but then we got detained. Uh, um, yes, yes, go on. While we were in the detention, uh, the wall blew up, and... Um, Two guys came came in saying that they were part of the Decepticon Justice something. Uh, I I tried to shoot him, you know how I do. And then um, Tripticon woke up, and we barely managed to uh, put him to sleep and get out. Uh. We met Primus. That was the whole thing. You what? Um, yeah, yeah. We, we, we met Primus. Kind of shady. Not gonna lie. I see. Uh, yeah. Anything else? But, and then Primus told us we had to collect artifact, the artifacts of the Primes. He starts getting more interested. He was only, like, half listening, but now he's like, you have his attention. Um, no, uh, if we don't, um, Unicron will, um, you know, do his thing. Uh, yeah. Then we okay. came back here. He was sitting on a stool, but now he's standing straight up. Uh, 
something about Alchemist Prime that's like the firstest one to go for or something. Yeah, the, um, like, gather Alchemist Prime's, like, artifact first as it's, like, the key end will help guide you to all the others. Yeah, yeah, he's oh. got a thingy that makes finding the other things easier. You wouldn't happen. You, you, no offense. You seem like a bot who knows his history. You wouldn't know anyone by that name, would you? Alchemist Prime. Of course, I know him. He's me. Huh? <laughs> Harry's like halfway oh. to the door before he whips his head around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the 13 created by Primus. We kicked Unicron's keister all the way across the galaxy. If he's back, that's that's not good at all. Oh, good. That means you can handle this whole thing, right? Absolutely not. Aww. Uh, look at me. My my fighting days are over. Need some some new blood. What's blood? Shut up, Harry. You know what I mean. Anyway. And... There's just like a fish mouth. You know how fish do the... the... Yeah. He's just doing that and staring straight at... Huh? Right, before I before I give you this, I need you to know something very important. Come, come, come on. And he gestures you to get real close. All of us? Yes, all four of you. <laughs> is, is it... Don't drink it. Man... <laughs> Don't 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 right. eat the yellow snow. All right. So he he holds all of you four close in a really awkward huddle. Once you go down wait, this. Wait 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 what? wait wait. How big is Mike Adam compared to everybody else? He's like Galvatron <laughs> size. Oh oh. He's, yeah, he's big. a big dude usually. He is a big uh, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm just a, like he's prime sized. You might say. Yes. Oh, yeah. Why is everybody bigger than me? The bar is not high. Very small dude. I am common size. The bar is not that high, Harry. Oh, come on. Nothing? No, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're not getting that one. I, I know you're going with this, but I'm, like, I'm not giving it to you. Okay, so anyway. He's holding all of you close in an awkward, like, football huddle. Once you go down this Petro rabbit hole, there is no coming back from it. Anyway... I don't even think I'm in the huddle, I'm just in the circle. <laughs> anyway, uh, you said you need me, uh, you said you need these for your quest. Take care, good care of them, eh? And he pops off his, like, giant goggles to reveal very small beady optics and hands them to you. I knew oh, it. His eyeballs do the glasses thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Which one of you wants them? Don't take this the wrong way, but can you still see if you take those off? Yes. Anyway, okay. choose very carefully which one of you wears these, because it's not impossible, but it is incredibly difficult to take them off if you're not a prime. Do, do we want to roll a d20 and whoever gets the highest? I will just let you have this. I okay. want to say Rotor would try and just bang it against her visor and go, I don't think these fit me. Yeah. Your eyes are already covered. You can't wear a second pair of glasses. Yeah. It's between the three of us, and I get the strangest feeling Quasar probably doesn't want a prime artifact on his head. <laughs> That's I, true. I mean, if you don't want it, just say so. You know, I, yeah, no, I would no. say no. Fine, Sorry. give it here. Oh, I was gonna take it. That's why I was... Yeah. Alright, so since this is gonna wear them? If no one else specifically wants it, yeah. I won't say no to it. I'll say that much. Would they fit on you? <laughs> I, will f I will fight everybody in this room. <laughs> no, I'm actually curious. Listen, if one of you doesn't decide, I will I will smack them onto one of you. Yeah, I get sense of sizzle. I... Grab them. If, yeah. Alright, so you put them on? Yeah, I guess. Alright, do me a favor and roll conditioning. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I don't know what I expect. It spot well to your face and just crush your skull. They slurp your eyeballs right out. <laughs> they, call her, they call her no eyeball synthesis. That's what you get for taking out the other people's eyeballs in session zero. 
Yeah, that's a ten. <laughs> All right, so since this, you immediately double over, not because of like any physical pain, but because of the information these lenses is like, seriously overwhelming. Like oh, you're seeing, fun. you're seeing all sorts of different like past, present, and future stuff all at once, along with the location of the other artifacts. You're getting oh. a lot of information all at once. Everything I... is all the time. Yes. Are you okay? Everything is all the time. Now you know what I've been dealing with since my creation. Uh, if uh, services doesn't stop them repeating themselves, I'm going to smack them. Roll on arm strike. Uh... How do you not have processor burnout by now? How do you know I don't? I'm the kooky crazy one, don't you know? I got a four. That's a four. You miss and smack yourself. I'm, I'm gonna try to gingerly take them off of... off of synthesis. Uh... What, do you want me to roll something? What do you want me to roll? Um... Hmm... I'd imagine it's the case of just... I have to get used to it before it stops feeling like... Just yeah. 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 You basically have to focus, so to speak. Just gotta power through it. Yeah. Alright, so I would assume after some point, since this does get used to them. Yeah. Focusing in on the president and all that. Yeah. Are are you alright? Are is every everything still all at once? That, well, I've I've I'm focusing. It's it's fine. I'm it's fine. Alright, so, Census, you now know the location of all the other artifacts that Primus needs you to get, which I'm going to start listing them off. I would recommend someone writes these down. Oh, oh boy. Wait, give Wait. me a second. Okay. You're going to put this on the VOD? We're fine. <laughs> but we're giving the, the, the all-seeing glasses to possibly one of the squishier characters. Yeah. yeah. I hope, I hope but you know it does okay. also make sense in character-wise. For the doctor oh, yeah. to get the one from the alchemist, at least, so. It does. That's kind of cool. Also, they can heal themselves if something happens. Mm, that's true, yeah. Alright, so who's taking these notes? Uh, you can't hear me clacking, can you? I have a mechanical keyboard. No. Nope. I am okay. them down. Good work, crisp. Alright, so you ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. The city of Uriah... You are a YA, is where the Enigma of Combination is located. Enigma, enigma, enigma of what? Combination. Combination. The city of Praxis is where the Requiem Blaster is. This is really just straight up a build a prime, huh? Yes, build a prime S. The Chimera Stone is moving, weirdly enough, but it is on a trajectory towards Polyhex. And the Forge of Solus Prime is in Kaon. And the Star Saber is somewhere in the Sea of Rust. Hold on, what was Kion? The uh, Kion, the Forge of Solus Prime. What's in the Rust Sea? The Star, Star, Star Saber. What do we call what McAdam gave us? The lenses. Just the lenses? Okay. Yep. So Synthesis' face now has c comedically large goggles. Nerd. Since this looks like the nerd emoji now. Wow. Alright, so you got that written down? Uh, spell Uriah one more time, I'm sorry. U-R-A-Y-A. -A. Okay. U-R-A... Y-A. Y -A. Okay. I thought it was an I. Alright. U-R-A-Y-A. What Uraria? U-Ray Gun. So U-R-Y-R-A. Yeah. 
All right, you good? If you want to copy and paste this, you, you guys can. Okay, sorry. All right, McAdam pats Synthesis on the shoulder and says, Ah, you look like you could use a pint of Energon after all that. Y yeah, prob probably. All right, probably. so McAdam's going to walk all four of you back to the serving area. Oh, I'm actually going to go into my closet. All right. Oh, I'm going to... Um, before he goes out there, is there, I'm going to ask him, is there any particular booth where I can just, like, stay a little bit hidden or anywhere? The entire customer area is very open. You're, you're not going to get very open or very discreet, if that's what you're asking. Would you be okay with me staying in the back? Oh, you'd have to share a bed with Harry. No, but... He's so small, I'm sure that's fine. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. If you can feel Harry in between your mattresses, you're a Cybertronian princess. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like average size. I hate this so much. Small. He's like, he's like Bumblebee size. Like, he's not like small. That's very thing. small compared to Quasar. A flea. <laughs> It's just the fact that we are, you know... Comedically large. Yeah, yeah. all the other three are all large things. Aww, so it's like moving. a Hot Wheel in my big three-finger oh, hands. So, um, he's moving. so for, for those who are listening to this and confuse us to the distressed ums, well, you see, there now <laughs> appears to be a problem on the map. Yeah, there's like a squadron of Soundwave TFP-looking mofos. Uh, and, and I, I see none of it. No. Well, I'm just sticking my head out the door, like, where the door oh. to the bar and the oh, no. thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was so <laughs> threatening. <laughs> <laughs> Tripticons okay, outside! <laughs> I'm, I'm where the crown is at the door behind the bar, just peeking my head out. Yeah, yeah. While McAdam is making your drinks, you see three Decepticon grunts and their commander walk in. And the commander says, Well, what do we have here? We were just looking for you for. Hurricane Harrier, where are you at? I love the fact that Four? they see maybe three of us. Mostly just two of us. Yeah. They have their info. Also, d d uh, we're not can, I, can, I, can I hear that? Yes. The walls are very thin. Voice. Can I try to do something? Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm gonna like. I'm gonna try it because I'm I'm like big, so I'm gonna try to like pretend I'm intoxicated, and like like waddle around like I can't stand up straight and like distract them by like putting my arms over them, and being like, oh, "I remember you, buddy. How's it going? Oh, I missed you so much. You know, like the yeah." Uh, uh, the drunk, I'm so happy to see you thing. Uh, so which one are you doing that to? Uh, Commander, I assume. He pulls out his shotgun and names at your face. <laughs> <sighs> Where have I seen this one before? Get your servos off me. Also, I hold uh, my... Sorry, I hold my hands up over my head. Um, and now uh, you're getting it. How big are they? I would say the grunts are you sized and the commander is like synthesis size. All right. Can what I make you... a stroke? Oh, well, sorry. Hmm. No, uh I'll I'll just I'll just say it. What do you guys want with us? We want you. The four of you. We just said that. Four? Why? Don't play dumb with me, Rotorback. Okay. I don't have to play. Oh, we know. <laughs> the boss warned us about that. I... Who... We just spent all morning driving in from out in the middle of the desert somewhere that way with the gesture vaguely in the direction of, like, the desert that we were in. Like, some people who wanted to, like, do some sort of coup against shockwave busted in and caused so many problems like why do you want us 
Galvatron asked for you four specifically. I don't know why. I just do what I'm told. Ah. Uh. Can I roll a stealth check to hide behind the like the wall, but also like kind of be like looking out at them? Stealth at a snag. All right. You know, you know, before we almost got squished, I'm pretty sure Galvatron gave Whoa. us all something important to do that you can't stop us about. Seven. Yeah, you do not blend in at all. <laughs> you know, the fact that you guys are all working for Galvatron makes this a decent chunk easier on me. And I'm going to... I'm going to toss a stun grenade at this gun right there. All right, so you oh. get your stun oh. grenade out, and McAdam, like, trips over the counter, falls flat on his face, turns onto his back, and he's like, Hey, fellas, 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 why don't we all settle this over a pint of Energon? And he holds up two empty pints. Decepticons just stare at him for a good five seconds. Do they not recognize him without his goggles? <laughs> <laughs> They're just flabbergasted by the whole act he just put. The whole tripping over his own counter. That whole. And one of them just like gently kicks him. Grunt's like, hey, hey I don't think you get it, Rust Bucket. We got orders. On that note, roll for initiative. Come on, you. I'm gonna just click Where are you going? Button. Ooh, that's pretty good. Where's my penny? Oh, I have a... Okay. Uh, I have two dice and full in... Ugh. Oh, I got a pretty 20. I got a... Oh, I got an 18. I got a 16. I got a 10. Is there a way I can... Uh, the initiative order is controlled by you, right? I can't, like, put myself on there. All right, so click your icon... And then roll initiative. Oh, uh, can I just put the number I got in the other thing? Yeah. yeah. Also, I just realized there are, there are two initiative buttons. Ooh. Yeah, I that makes it a little button. confusing. All right, Quasar, what did you get? I got a 16. 16. All right, Rotorback, what did you get? I got an 18. All right, add turn. That's pretty good. We got like three people right off the bat, other than... Mr. Commander bot there. I love it, the commander. Mr. Nice Commander, sir. Listen, here's the thing, I'm like, oh, so who, you? like, oh, we work for Galaxy. I'm like, this makes this a lot less of a problem, actually. One more. Oh, McAdam got a pretty nice initiative. Oh my god, it's literally uh -oh. all of us. Bar fight! Yeehaw. Alright, so top of the round, Commander. Going towards synthesis. Mm -hmm. Tries to smack you. I'm gonna guess an 8 doesn't hit. No. That'll be his turn. Harry, what do? Okay, so since my initial idea uh, didn't go through before the initiative uh, was called, I'm just going to uh, squeeze right under Quasar. Which Pull you can my do without it taking up your movement, because you're two sizes smaller. I'm going to put my bow, aka my projectile launcher, and um, use three free actions to aim at the commando, because that is a thing. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how's the 19 look? Yeah, that hits. Alright, how much damage does that do? Uh, one sharp, but what does a crit do again for attacks? I believe that would be double damage. I remember correctly. Okay, cool. Too sharp. Oof. Is that your turn? Yeah. Alright, so McAdam's gonna try and mitigate this before it gets worse. And he's gonna start transforming. Oh! And what everyone sees is so horrifying that words can't describe it. You don't understand? My one rule is no fighting! <laughs> Uh, the grunts turn tail and run. Wow. Wow. Cowards! All of you! And that'll be his turn. 
Rotor back, what do? Way to go, boss. Uh... Does he look phased by the fact that his grunts of laughter is he still like I'm um, like attacking us like full on like full confidence? Right. He's annoyed that his grunts left, but he's here to do a job. I want to like, like, with some momentum, just like grab the top of his head, uh, aim whatever I assume my shotgun at him, and try to get him to like surrender and not waste his time being outnumbered. Roll intimidation with a snag. Okay. Actually, would I? No, I guess I wouldn't be able to. I want to help them with that. Yeah, I don't have anything in intimidation, so let's roll two and take the poopier one, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, seven. He just stares you dead in the optics and is like, do it! Do it! You won't! Don't got no bearings! I'm giving you an opportunity to walk out of here with your faceplate still on. Who do you think is scarier, you or Galvatron? He's not here, is he? Anything else? Uh, nah, I leave it at that. Alright, so Quasar. I don't want to hurt McAdam. If I fire a shot, it might go right past him, and I don't want that. Uh, my movement is, what, 35, I believe? 30? I do believe. Alright, I'm gonna get behind... Um, yeah, I'm gonna get behind border back then. Alright. And as, as she's holding the shotgun, um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna transform, but I am gonna spread my wings. I'm gonna be like, you might want to take that offer. You are surrounded. I'm gonna nod at, uh, Mech Adams. Something tells me that he's not in a, uh, a fighting mood. Alright, roll intimidation. Ooh, do I have a thing on intimidation? I don't think I do. Uh, 16. He starts backing up. What, what the scrap are you? You keep going, you're gonna find out. Oh. Frag. He, he hesitates. He takes a couple steps back, but he, he he's here to do a job. He fears his boss mo a whole lot more than he fears you for. All right, Synthesis, what's up? Yep. So I did pop the concussion grenade, but that was because they were all standing in a single concussion grenade-shaped uh, space. That wouldn't have gotten anyone else hurt. <clears throat> so instead, I'm going to just... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out my rifle. All right. I'd imagine at this point is I have I get one free action, so I'm gonna you know I'm gonna use it to aim, which if I remember right that like upshifts the uh, the second dice right. Yeah. Okay. Grants one upshift per aim. Can we can we explain to the people watching how speed might um, affect upshifting? I thought about it, but I'm not good enough at explaining rules. Alright, so, so I, I, I got it. Alright, so, um, speed determines how many actions you're able to do per turn. At one speed, you're limited to a standard or move action. At two speed, you can do a standard or move action. While at three speed and up, you can do a standard and a move action and have a number of free actions equal to your speed minus two. Uh, what uh, Synthesis is doing right now is there is an option where you can use a free action. Provided you don't move before or, or move after taking this reaction, where you can upshift a attack that has the targeting tag, aka a range attack. So you can like move and then you aim, and you can upshift that via your speed. But you can only upshift three times on a single action, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Three times on a single turn, if I remember yeah, right. Yeah, that's I'm right. Not turn at like attack. Sorry. Yeah, if I'm in action. Harry, for explaining the rules so well, you get an additional story point. Yay! Yeehaw. Nice. And so, I will immediately forget about it. <laughs> I don't think anyone has used a story point so far. Not What's a story point again? 
It lets you re-roll, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You do have to take the new roll, whatever it is, though. Yeah. Do I get a starry point for... Everyone has one per scene by default. Oh, I didn't know that. There That's cool. The story happen. Yeah. The yeah. So yeah. So, all right. So I already get a. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm gonna aim uh, twice because no one needs any healing currently. Yeah. So that brings it from a D4 in targeting to I think. Yeah, D8 in addition. To my um. Regular roll. Okay. I think I'm gonna use my story roll. Actually, there. <laughs> yeah, so that's a total of five. You miss and hit McAdam's window. <gasps> oh. Well, at least it wasn't McAdam. No, my baby! <laughs> no, nah, nah, let's clean that up. No, Harry has to clean that up! <laughs> We're really sorry. We, we didn't want this. Alright, anything else? You know I can't do anything else. That's all I got. All right, top of the round. Commando laughs at your lack of ability to aim. He's going to pull out his shotgun. Uh, synthesis rotor back does a 14 hit. Is this a meets it, beats it situation? Uh, if it meets, it hits. Then yes, it does in fact hit. Does evasion count? Yeah, you can use your evasion. Uh, yeah, 18 evasion, so... All right, so since this, it hits you in the shoulder, rotor back, you manage to dodge it out of the way. McAdam manages to dodge just in time. And that's his turn. Harry! What are, what are the other patrons doing? And employees? All right, um, you're the only employee. Sorry, the uh, musical guest? They're still playing. They're very committed to their craft. Uh, most of the patrons leave. There's like one. There's two still trying to finish their game of cards. I love the implication that this isn't an uncommon occurrence, but it's not a super common one either. If I remember McGam's lore right, both Autobots and Decepticons come in here, and the one rule is no fighting. Yeah, you're breaking that rule. We did not oh start God. this fight. Well, we we gave him plenty of chances to stop. We went, hey, don't. Hey, don't. I was going to just stun them and drop, dump them outside, but no. They decided they had to fight us. Alright, I'm going to have the uh, Have a seat. Uh, shoot the commando again. Alright, let's see it. Of course, I am going to use the um, plus three option. Of course. Because Harry is very fast. Yeah, it hits. Okay, so another crit. So I will say the crit just means that it's like over the difficulty thing from what you put in. Okay, right? so if you um, meet the difficulty and the uh, skill dice used is maxed, that is counted as a crit. Correct. Okay. And um, for attacks, uh, you could either... Add one of the alternate effects, or just do the damage again. Yeah. Which, in this case, I'm just going to uh, double the damage. Alright, so what is that, another two damage? Yep. Alright, anything else? I am going to uh, give the commando some rude hand gestures. He is so offended right now. <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? Yeah, that's it. All right, McAdam's just going to run towards him and give him an epic uppercut. Good lord. All right, so you see how his hands are glowing. He, His left, his orange hand starts glowing real brightly. He gives the commando an epic uppercut, and the commando, as he's being launched into the air, he just disintegrates on the spot. What? Wow. Okay. Way to go, boss. Ah, no mess to clean up. Just how I like it. And he, you know, does the wiping his hands thing. I'm gonna go get the broom for the window. I'm sure it's like like the games where it turns into like little Energon shards that you use to buy things, or like Scott Pilgrim where they just turn into coins. Yeah. Oh, I know. 
right. uh, he did drop a uh, defense matrix. Hey, do any one of you wants this? Oh, he dropped some armor. He dropped a shield. Oh. Yeah. You should probably give that to uh. I, yeah, I should probably grab that. All right, so it's it, like an energy shield or something. Yeah, basically it grants plus one to your toughness and your evasion. Huh. Yeah, that would probably be really good for you, Synthesis. All right, so he just I'm gently imagine... he gently tosses it to Synthesis. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna. Look at you. I'm assuming you don't have to roll to catch it, right? I'll just give this one to you. <laughs> What's the armor cost? You. For those who are listening. You... Listening, you can't see on the map, but uh, <laughs> Reese character is just going around and he's moving him around. Like I, s- I-, I am it's cleaning horrible. up the window shards. Excuse you. I had to he's go back to get room and shards. whatever. I appreciate your commitment to the bit. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I, w- I didn't want only us to know that. <laughs> yeah, so Harry, oh. sweep, sweep, sweep. Yeah, a little flip out, like, broom and dustpan, like, your hands go in and, like, they, like, a broom and dustpan flip out. No, I had to go back to the closet to get those. (laughs) You had to go back to your room. Alright, so McAdam looks at the rest of you and says, uh, I would suggest you guys, uh, go on your journey before any more of them come. Sorry. Eh, yeah, not, sorry. not the first time, not the last. You should have seen the time Megatron came in. We we don't talk about that anymore. And Megatron and Optimus, they tried negotiating on that table. And he points to the one in the corner where the two guys are having their little card game. It did not go well. Well, at least you didn't have to turn them to dust. The yeah. prize there still is a table. <laughs> Their lucky Soundwave was playing such good music. Soundwave does play good music. Good negotiation music, oddly enough. I'm just, Harry, I'm gonna Harry that's enough to... sweeping. Harry! Your job is done! Harry! Harry, come back! I can't believe Harry's been fired. <laughs> Out of character, I don't know where to put the glass shards. <laughs> Dump him in a random barrel. There's a trash can somewhere, just... Harry, you gotta save the planet. It. Quit sweeping. <laughs> I'm looking for it. I, I, gotta, I gotta do this right. Harry! <laughs> I'm too lazy, but when I do a job, I do it right. No, I don't. This is the yeah, one time you so. did a good job. So, McAdam is... I don't want to say kicking you out, but, like, strongly suggesting you guys leave. You yeah, don't have to go home, idea. but you can't stay here. Precisely. Alright. Suppose off we mosey. Alright, uh, what, can someone roll me a d2? I have a penny, I'll do it. Alright. Let's see it. Alright. I got a two. Alright, Quasar, what did you get? A one. Someone give me another d2 as a tiebreaker. Alright. Rock, uh, paper, two. scissors, shoot. Does the dice bot know how to do a D2? I have no what? idea. Let's find out. It does. I got a one. And Rotor back got a two. I think this is more twos than ones at this point, so twos. All right, I can roll with that. All right, so since this, the city guard you saved walks up to you guys. He's a, He has a little crutch, but he's getting around just fine. Hey, uh, uh, your presence has been requested at the Citadel. The big bot wants a word with you for. Kyle, okay. come on. All right, that work, I guess. All right, so all of you are escorted to his office, which looks like a typical politician's office, top floor of the tower. It's kept perfectly tidy and organized, so anything in there can be easily found at a moment's notice. And there's Shockwave waiting for you, standing right in front of his desk. I probably oh, okay. What? Uh, despite lacking any facial features whatsoever, he looks very annoyed with you all. I'm hiding behind Rotorback. 
Uh, I hide behind myself. Yeah, Shockwave just has his hands behind his back. Boy, you sure got better a lot fast. I am so sorry. <laughs> now, please explain to me why it seems that wherever you go, everything that could possibly go wrong goes wrong. The ceremony was an unmitigated disaster with dozens dead or injured. One of your own kills me, followed by a mass breakout resulting in Trypticon being reawakened. And for what? <laughs> And he throws his hands in the air. None of you seem organized to be working with the Decepticon Justice Division. So explain to me why I shouldn't have your sparks locked up in the nearest detention facility for the next million stellar cycles. Um, I'm not with them. Roll okay, deception with disadvantage. I, I knew this, this gag was going to come up. We need to give him the Ghostbusters speech where we're like, if you don't let us do our thing, there's going to be cats and dogs living together in mass hysteria. I got the 13. Uh, I can't believe I'm, I can't believe we're doing this. Um, so if you want, do you want like actual reasons for this or is it just you're mad and want to yell at us for? Harry, you are not fooling him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Okay, listen. All right, that. W oh, <laughs> yeah, do you um, do you want like the actual reasons, or are you just mad and then you're gonna do what you were going to do anyway, sir? He would be putting his fingers up to the brow of his nose if he had one. This feels like an insight check. Is that a thing? You know. Like that? I can't explain. I didn't. I did not plan that. I'm really sorry. Uh, just uh, to make things easier, the person that uh, did plan it is dead, and I can explain that if you want. You four better have a sparking good reason for all of this. God said so. What? Huh. You have okay. Yeah, we uh, met our maker, and not in the way that you usually say that for. Yeah, um, so, yeah, we... I re-anesthetize... Re I can't actually say anesthetize... I can't actually say anesthetize... So anesthetize? Yeah, I put Trypticon back under. That's a neat system, by the way. I'm pretty sure you're not the one who designed that. Anyway, um, and we get out with the rest of the survivors of Trypticon, who weren't Decepticons who broke out, um, and there was this, it was in the middle of the desert, and there was a cave, and the four of us decided to go deeper, but everyone else went, no, that, we don't feel like we should go in the cave. And, um, so, at, in the, like, there was a long, deep descent, and when we got there, there was, like, a large, ancient, like, vault. And so Primus spoke and told us to seek out some artifacts, because Unicron is going to return, and so he needs to forge a warrior, or body, or whatever, to fight Unicron. I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking with you right now, sir. He takes a good I... 15 seconds just processing everything you just said. Now here's the problem. Also, Galvatron attacked us in Trypticon, so just so we're on the same page, we're not with him. I... I... Uh... He, he puts his hand up to his non-existent mouth, points a finger out, then puts his hand back. Do, do you have anyone who can verify this story? Which parts of it? Yeah, because we have, we have survivors that we helped 
all no. of it. So, uh, Medley, the Primus bit, I guess McAdam would be the one with the bit about speaking with Primus. Yeah, so, and you could call McAdam up if you'd like. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, slowly pull it out, because, you know, I'm assuming there are guards on, like, guard in here who, like, you know, don't want to make any sudden movements. There are 15 guards in the room. Yeah, that's a lot of guards. Along with the one that you saved who was on the crutch. Yeah, and so... At least that guy knows that I was literally just trying to... Frag. Help, but just trying to help. Fragging. Anyway. Fragging help. <sighs> just trying to scrap and help. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to pull it out and just dial up McAdam. Because recent contacts. McAdam on speaker. Like, bring, bring... Ring, 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 ring. Ah, uh, synthesis. How's the conversation going? It it's going. Wait. Um, would you be willing to be our character reference on the whole? Yeah, Primus did actually, in fact, talk to us in a hole in the middle of the desert. First off, that was a cave. Get your facts straight if you're gonna tell Shockwave all that. Shockwave does not want to be here right now. He is regretting this entire conversation. I think he could have just let us go and he wouldn't have to be dealing with knowing this. So, uh, does it mean we're good to go? Why, why would Primus settle for you for? Because people he wanted went to, uh, Ordarko again. Who the spark knows? Anyway, he didn't have a better option? I, I'd imagine it is also part of a case of we were there roll persuasion with an upshift for every uh, character witness oh, yeah, okay so it's mcadam the, um, the guard guy yeah the guard here and the god Can knows we... how many survivors from the tripticon prison oh one and... of the guards from tripticon probably because one of the guards survived right the one who oh yeah survived. so that would be three upshifts total okay so who has the who has the best persuasion I have a D2 in it. Does anyone have... Is anyone else good at talking? Literally, no. I also have a D2. Let me but see. you were the one talking the most, so... Yeah, okay. That's, I, I think that's on you. So, persuasion with a D8, then. Boy, so that is... A 24. Oh! I'm Lord. Oh, I did not expect to have my entire existence questioned today. Wait, was wait, was, was that a crit? May oh, as yeah, well have been. An eight on the uh, on the upshift. Yeah. I did not expect to hear this entire thing. I will return, and he walks over to the giant vault door in the back of his office, unlocks the vault door, slams it shut behind him. I think that went well. <laughs> I just in, feel like in my there. heart and soul, there's like muffled screaming from in there. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear muffled ranting, but you can't tell what he's saying. Yep. <laughs> We're sorry. And so well, he's well, in there for. In there. We, we could just leave. The guards will not let you. The guards are still here, yeah. He's in there for about 15 minutes. You're stuck in his office. What do you do for the next 15 minutes? Um, so I think if none of the guards, like, get, like, up in arms about it, since he's gonna check on the guard that she helped out earlier. Hey, he seems to be doing okay, you know. Has trouble walking, but other than that. Yeah. Did I, did I miss Dear Shockwave explaining how he's back in one piece? You did not <laughs> ask. <laughs> I mean, it's probably body double, let's, let's be real. Yeah, so Rotor's just sitting there, like, wait... Okay, wait. Uh, he's. Uh. Okay. Huh. I'll be honest, since this entire thought is like, I mean, either it's a body double or some other form of backup, in which case that's smart. The last leader no. did kind of get decapitated. So. That's it! He does have two heads. <laughs> he has an extra. <laughs> Rotoback, I think you're onto something. I oh, knew you it! Guys, oh, you guys didn't actually see. What? Ooh. Yeah, no, it was not, uh, ooh, a new head will fix this situation. This was a, uh, there were a lot of little bits. What do you mean? He's right here. The one head. <laughs> He's got a backup somewhere. Uh, I, I don't, 
I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's. Why don't you go ask him? Well, and that's one of the guards saying that. Well, currently, he's in a secure room screaming. I'll, I'll, I'll go, like, knock on the door. Very you can gently. ask him what he's done screaming. So, um, yeah. anybody have cards while wait? Uh, yeah, I'll go, I'll go knock on the door. He doesn't Very respond, but... He doesn't respond, but... It looks surprisingly light for a vault door. I'll... I'll just, mm. I'll just like, crack it, it open, and I'll just be like, Hello? Imagine there's a code or something? No. Oh. There's not, it's, like, a keypad or something? Oh, so it's just a door that looks like a vault door. Is what yes. Yeah. It's just... Aesthetically. He just happened to have left it unlocked this one time. Right. Uh, if it... Oh, sorry. You see him frantically, like, looking at a bunch of screens, and you think you see, like, 200 other bots in there? What? What? It's closed! Oh. Oh. Okay, it's like a, it's like a, like a mass cloning kind of thing. Oh. I see. Um, so can I it's, come it's, in? It's, are it's, okay? We are right that it, is, it was a body double, technically. I, I am still very proud of the fact that I did halfway call him. No, it's absolutely like he's just cloned himself. I was right. Yeah, you were right on that. It's like, Quasar, roll stealth if you're going to go in there. If that's what you're planning. I don't, I'm, not making, I'm not making myself unknown. I'm saying, hello, can I come in? He completely ignores you. I'm, uh, oh god, okay, I'm just gonna, like, scoot behind him and just, like, gently tap his shoulder. And then as, as soon as I do that, I, like, back up ten paces. He jumps. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I know our last meeting didn't go really well. As you um, say that, you can see that he just tried to zap you with a little, uh, what looks like know, a needle that comes out of his hand. Fair. Fair, completely fair. Um, so, what I was, I was hired as a bodyguard. I didn't know. Um, I do apologize. I really did intend to try to keep you safe. So we're just, it's been a long day for us. I know it's been a long day for you too as well. You as well. With all this going on, Maybe we could take some weight off of your shoulders, you know, as an apology. We got okay. this, and okay. I don't know, whatever, I just kind of trail off. He looks very troubled right now. We're here to help, is what I'm trying to say. So is it just Quasar in the room right now? I don't think anybody followed me. Did anybody follow me? I think synthesis might be sort of nearish to the door but no i'm not gonna walk into the vault yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't go in i would be like standing there like I'm making like uncomfortable motions standing in a half circle around the door I, is I'm, still, is. I'm still seeing if anybody has cards no one has cards <laughs> but what all of you can hear is shockwave looks at quasar and says well now that you have access my backups i now have to kill you Wait, 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 wait. Quasar, go ahead and roll insight for me. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Do I have a thing on that? I don't story think I points. do. You do have a story yeah, point. You, I'm going to use a, a story theme. roll. I'm going I'm to use a story point. It's a nine. You're reasonably sure that he's trying to make a joke? Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Uh... Maybe, maybe shuffle out of the secure Yeah, I'm just, room I'm just gonna, I'm gonna side shuffle out. I'm sorry. Right, he, he's gonna follow you out and just shut the door as quick as possible. Okay. Why did you think it was a good idea to go in there in the, like, secure room? I don't know. He didn't, he didn't lock it. Tell no I, one of I, what, I, tell no one of what you saw in there. I'd imagine the rest of them did see what's in there, right? Like, 
I mean, I would say if you were next to the door, which it was like half open, yeah. yeah. You know, that's not my. It's not Synthesis' business why he has clones. It's definitely clones, is the thing. Uh, see what now? Once again, the uh, moral and ethical implications of this are not in my scope currently. I don't think anything is in our scope right now. But he's doing something. I don't know what it is. He's on. What he was on a computer, or was it? You said there were multiple screens. Yeah, he was looking at a bunch of screens, and one of them had like the remains of the previous shockwave on there. Uh, uh what? Oh, he's controlling right him like a mech. Uh, I see. Why did anyway. he throw the screen up? And he doesn't have it up anymore, but that's what Quasar saw. Alright. It's like, ah, uh, I feel a little less bad. Well, I did, I did try to, uh, maybe give us a good case. That shockwave got a lot of progress done. Sorry? No, who am I? Who I didn't hear that quite well. Can you repeat that? That shockwave got a lot done, oh. and now he's dead. Is that shockwave telling me this? Yes. Ah. Uh, well, that shockwave was still you. You got a lot done, right? Nothing. Oh, Primus! I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell a commoner about this. Commoner. Mm. Um, I won't... Would, would I be able to roll a, um, a science to see if I can put some of that together? Go right ahead. Okay. Question. Yes. So we've been seeing a lot of Decepticons lately. Yes. Is it... Shockwave doesn't have a emblem on him, right? Nope. No. So he would be unaligned as well, technically. Yes. Alright. I mean, he could be lying about that. He could. Big he also thing. had a body double. And like... So... So... So one... Uh, so I got... <laughs> with my thing, I got an 8 for my d20, but I got the critical on the... Um, the skill roll bit that's the, the crit only counts if the total is actually a success that's fair so that's uh, a i will i will just give it to you 14. because he, he was gonna tell you about this anyway now that you've already seen it yeah all right all of you grab a seat i guess i am telling everyone shockwave's biggest secret but if you kill out but if you tell anyone i will have each and all of you killed uh, for, for the record, um, Harrier did not look inside. Like you're gonna get you're, you've been dragging. He, he's gonna give you the talk anyway. No. <laughs> not the not the Petra Rapids. <laughs> I'm back. No. All right. So, Synthesis and Quasar are asking way too many questions. So Shockwave is gonna deliver some exposition. So he's got all of you four just sitting in chairs in like a straight line formation. And he's in front of you with the screen behind him. Alright, All right. so as you may know... <laughs> shock... For the sake of simplicity... <laughs> okay, is Harry asleep right now? Yeah. Again. Really. <laughs> Dodging in my sleep. He has a d12 in that. Why? Anyway, anyway can, can someone wake him up? I'll push him again. So, uh, you know, so you're just gonna kick his chair up from under him? <laughs> you can, like, stomp one foot, I guess. Oh, Jiggle my. his chair. I can sleep while standing. <laughs> yeah, but going from one position to another while asleep tends to wake people up. Pick him up and I hold him upside, upside down. 
Okay. Uh, oh, for Primus' is, sake. Is, is lecture over? No! Uh. At that, I drop him because he starts... He scared me. Despite no. having no emotion, you are being very frustrating for him right now. Synthesis is not trying. To, synthesis is just here. Synthesis wants to know this. Synthesis, I've got like a pad out and like writing notes. I'm like, let uh, me. Yeah. clear. This is Harry, Harry being um, discriminatory against uh, Decepticon. Like, I, I, I want I, it clear I, that this is in fact robo racism. I, 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 I just want that on the record. <laughs> All right. For the sake of simplicity, at the beginning of the war, as you all know, Shockwave, we are going to call him Shockwave 1. Shockwave 1 was left in charge of the Decepticons after Optimus and Megatron and his ba their band of fools left Cybertron. After about a million years, Shockwave 1 realized that they would most likely never come back. After quite some time of waiting, he realized that waiting for him would be a waste of time, resources, and his ability. So he renounced the Decepticon cause and got to work. First, about two-thirds of the population was evacuated, so that already solved part of our Energon problem. Secondly, he through enough experimenting, managed to thin out the Energon to make it last much longer until the core of Cybertron could purge the Dark Energon from its system. After some time, Shockwave was infected by Cybercrosis, a particularly volatile strand of it, and he realized that even someone of his intelligence and resources would not survive this. Uh, so he created a failsafe in that his knowledge and memories would not be in vain. So it, in the event that he passed, all of that would be backed up into another body. Enter Shockwave 2 so on so forth for 65 million stellar cycles quasar here killed shockwave 8 i am shockwave 9 does this all make sense to you yeah and i am sorry rotor raises her hand <laughs> yes uh what happens if you run out Dude, you didn't see how many of them... Okay, never mind. <laughs> that is not a concern. So let it be known that whatever you had, whatever issues or rivalry you may have had with the original Shockwave, I am not that Shockwave. I do not know you people. All I know is that I was activated this morning. I was literally born yesterday. It's my favorite trope. It's born sick of your crap ye <laughs> yesterday. Born. I was born yesterday. I was born last night. Still stick sick of your, your, uh, your scrap. Um, I'll be honest. I am laughing. Synthesis is like, this is fascinating. Uh, uh, I, I am laughing in character. I want that to be clear. <laughs> yeah. I think Rotor's just glad that he doesn't remember her. I just got my head in my oh, hand. Oh, he remembers you since he still has Shockwave's memories. It's just oh. that he doesn't know you personally. <laughs> Good enough. Alright, so, Harry, what is your willpower? don't think it's that high. Mm, that'd be a uh, lovely 14. Alright, so Harry, his little needle thing finally starts working and he zaps you and you're paralyzed for 10 minutes or until he deactivates it. Can I still talk? No. Scrap! Do any of you have any questions? Other than the stupid one there. 
And the stupid one he says while pointing at Harry. Um, where, where is it? <laughs> what is it that you want to see us for other than maybe an explanation? We've given you one now. Which, what's the plan? Right, so, normally I would completely disregard everything you said about Primus, but... If enough people say the same thing, it makes it rather difficult to debunk. So go ahead and go on your suicide mission. But I want ep updates every step of the way. You do not do anything without me being aware of it. Am I understood? Yeah, I just want to... You want to give one of us a direct line to your personal communication. Precisely. I'm going to hand him my communicator so that no one, like, here. I just, uh. Beep, boop, boop, beep. You now have Shockwave's personal phone number. Dear God, are you two dating now? I was about to say something. Go on. Uh, hold on, you have to give me a second. I'm pretty good with my one-liners, but... The one-liner wasn't an actual comment. It's what it is. Ah, oh, what was it? Ah, oh, whatever. And I suppose Come back to me later. Less related to, oh, the future plans and more a, like, med medical inquiry, inquiry, I suppose? But, um... Like, I get most... I get most of how it works, but like, cloning thing is is really really neat. Okay, I can't actually come up with any questions. Thank you. We shockwaves pride ourselves on our ability to create new bodies. No, that's. Mmm, 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 mmm. I raise my hand again. <laughs> yes. So you're like, how come you can't like? Pull some strings and help us, like, do our part faster, right? Because you got people all over who could get the artifacts for us. Do I right? look like I know the primes? And he gets, like, no. right up in your face when he says that. I think you're you're reactivating his emotions right now. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. It's enraged. Yes. The icebreaker was to be annoying. His optic turns red. I don't know, I just thought I would ask for some help, that's all. If you are what, are pre what is preventing Cybertron from total annihilation, we're doomed. We're doomed. Yeah, I agree, we're doomed. Wait, no I don't. I mean, there's a reason Primus chose us, and I don't think it's, oh, we were there at the right time. Or, oh, we just happen to be ones close. I sincerely but hope that is true. I do as well. So, um, yeah. Do you do, like, the cloning also on a smaller scale? For, like, if it's not, like, oh, you need a full, like, like, restart where it's just, like, an individual limb? I can just build a new arm. Yeah. And I don't need to create an entire new body for that. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, what if you want two heads? I don't even mean to, like, lead into the dumb questions of the thing. <laughs> this is I, genuinely, like, this is neat science and this is cool medical science. He looks at Rotorback, <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Two heads, right? Okay, same body, double the processors. Think about it. Oh, for You've Primus. You've done this before. Yes, I, I haven't, but I know exactly what you're referring to. Yes, <laughs> Shockwave experimented in creating bots with two heads. That is correct. Unfortunately, he considered it a massive success, but I don't because that's how we got Slash and Burn. Oh. Unfortunately, two heads are not better than one because they are total idiots. 
and he starts like heavy breathing the more he thinks about it. This one this one has a full emotional range. Unfortunately, the full emotional range is mostly mad at us. Mostly mad at us seems to be the He gets frustrated by stupid. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, okay, 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 okay. I'm I was just step in between them. No, we do have a lead, so I mean... Go on. I look over at Synth. Uh, so we... I don't know anything about Earth geography than me, let alone Cybertron geography and what places are closer to where. Presumably we so have... know some of it. I don't. Yeah. That's a good question, actually. We have locations where we might believe these things that we need to gather are. However, not all of us have been all around Cybertron. Maybe you could help us locate the closest one for a starter? All right, yes, 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 we can do that. And he pulls up a map of Cybertron. Where are these alleged artifacts so i'm assuming that like the things on my face i have like coordinates of it but like i can't put the coordinates to like where we are now for some reason situation yeah you can just describe where they are and he can start pointing them on the map yeah so like uh, so once in araya all right araya someone write this down this is important so yeah i already have these all right so this is all relative to iacon Araya is eight days away from Iacon. Okay. Okay. Alright, Praxis uh, is about about a week away. So slightly close. Yeah. Right. These are all away from Iacon, right? Yeah. Copy that. This is all relative to Iacon where you are right now. Cool. I'll update the thing that I pasted earlier. Yeah. Um, so I guess the one that appears to be on a course towards Polyhex, but is not there yet. Oh dear! If it's if it's moving, that means it's already in possession of presumably the Decepticons. Um, Polyhex. So, it, so that one is a. Chimera stone, so it could also be like if it's going to Polyhex, it would be straight in the middle of where the Decepticon Justice Division have called their home. Oh god. And that's also about a week away. Okay. All right, next would be the Sea of Rust. That's about four days, but given that it's basically a constant rust sandstorm, it's hard to pinpoint exactly where it is. That's also pretty dangerous. Yeah. And so I guess Kion's the last one. Yeah. And it's, it's about six days away. I'm gonna put these in like order of distance, maybe. Whatever is easiest for you guys. So. I can move it around. So, if you want the closest, would be Kion. Then. Well, so I guess technically it's Rusty, Kion, Praxis, Polly, Araya. Yeah. Yeah. What, oh, sorry. Go on. Would Would I know anything specifically about any of these um locations? Like maybe hearing like the rest of is pretty well known. I would think. I would say give I think me. That's correct. Give me culture or streetwise. All right. Let me. I I've had to have been to Kaon at least once, right? Like. Yeah, you were actually there when the Decepticon movement started. Oh, yeah. What was it? It was Streetwise or... Culture. 
culture. Can I roll to see if I know anything about these Go right ahead. Anyone who wants to get in on this, go ahead. Oh yeah, and Harry, your uh, your debilitating cybercross is worn off at this point. I got, I got a nine. <laughs> nine. Eh, uh, you would know. You've been to Praxis. It's basically like the pop culture center of the entire planet. What you know is that uh, wrestling slash fight clubs are really common there. That's like a really popular sort of entertainment mm. like MMA ma matches that kind of thing. Yep. And 14. 14. All right, so Harry, you were at this was during the war, but you've been to Kaon, you've been to Polyhex. You don't know what they're like now, but they were like known Decepticon territories. Mm. 14. Mm -hmm. Polyhex. Um you would know that that is surrounded by the acid wastes, which is basically a giant acid sea surrounding the entire city. So it's impossible right. to navigate without safe passage. All right, anyone else? Anyone else's rolls? Um, so I got a so thirteen plus two, so fifteen. All right. So basically, what I've already said, and you know that Praxis, a lot of the like commercials and MMA matches are hosted by Firecracker. Convenient. We need to go there first. <laughs> All right, Rotorback, what did you get? Uh, I didn't roll. I, uh, I just, I just wanted to clarify that Kion would be obvious. All right. All right. So anything else? No, that's all I can think of, at least. Okay. So. Um... Where are we dropping, boys? Well, it seems we know the most about Praxis, or... Or, well, the, know, guess... or the Sea of Rust. Yeah, but the Sea of Rust is real is... It is dangerous. I guess... Praxis first, then? Get the farthest one out of the way? Uh, no. the farthest would be, uh, Uriah. Alright, well, okay, get one of those. Nothing about, so let's put that one off a little bit, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, with the 15... Uh, with, uh, with 14 slash 15, I would say all you know about Arai is that it is it ex exclusively inhabited by Maximals and Predacons. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh boy. Oh. Do we know anything about them? I assume they're, like, new? Eh. <laughs> oh. Roll me another culture to see if, how much you know about them. Uh, does Streetwise doesn't count? I wouldn't say so. Okay. Uh, 17. 17, alright, so... I'm... Oh, I got a 19. Alright, so 19. I'm explaining this all out of character. So, you know cool. that... So the Autobots and Decepticons, they left, and... The official story is they were never heard from again, but what a lot of officials tried to sweep under the rug is they actually did send a ship out there because they thought they received a distress signal from the Ark. But when they got there, they basically had to take on the forms of ugh, organics. So when they came back, they came back different. They weren't purely mechanical, but rather a hybrid of organic and mechanical and they were uh, basically ostracized from society for being freaks of nature sounds about right so they're like basically mutants to us basically so they made their own society over there depending on what little i know i assume i would feel bad for them but like not be outward not like say that outwardly because I know people wouldn't agree with me. Yeah, so this was about 60 million stellar cycles ago, so it wasn't recent, but... Right. Like It's not like a fresh wound, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it sucked that it happened, but like Shockwave 7 tried to integrate them back into... Cybertronian society is like a token of goodwill, but they like being on their own. I have a 
hunch that might be part of why it was Shockwave 8 that we killed. Yeah, Shockwave 7 was not heard from again. Yeah. Uh. Uh. So one can only assume how badly that went. All right, so what's the plan? So, I think the plan is Praxis, then, uh... Then C from there? Yeah. All right, so Praxis and then the C? No, 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 yeah. C from there. I mean, like, C where we'll go from there. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the Polyhex one is still moving, right? Yeah, and so it's probably in yeah. the command of the... Oh, what would the DJD want with the Chimera stone? Good question. So, mm. Synthesis, you can, uh, Synthesis, you can basically constantly feel their location. It is in Polyhex. It, it's still moving around a lot. But it is staying in the boring. confines of that city. Um, and I think I'm going to keep at least away from... This is me out of character asking the rest of the players how much information should we relate to Shockwave about how we know where these are? None. It's a bit too late for that. Well, we didn't, that we we didn't where ask where are. we got it. So I think we can always just say that McAdam told us, and he's not gonna go after McAdam. And if he does, he's gonna be dealing with a lot of glitch stuff, bots, and McAdam himself. So yeah, if it does help, if it does help, I'm gonna give you guys this one. Shockwave Nine was telling the truth about all of that. So yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's not the weird. It's not like oh he's lying to us. No, this is entirely a should. Sh this How is a bad of an idea is it to trust him yeah, with the, the fact that, like, one of us does have an ancient artifact strapped to their face sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, no, it'd be pretty bad. Yeah, like he if said, he... he he doesn't know you people. You only know his distant ancestor at this point. Yeah. And he he's can't not... tell. He's not like, what are those on your face? And he tries to take them, so. Yeah, for all you guys, for all he knows, that could just be what synthesis looks like. Yeah. yeah. Bots have weird faces, you see. Yeah. Because he's like, you look different yesterday, but also, a lot happened to you in the past day. You might have had to get repairs done that involve oversized goggles. Yeah. True. These are my prescriptions, I don't have contacts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. So then, we're not going to tell him that it seems to have settle down in the city then yes yeah, so that's that's it all then i guess all right that's all well and good get out of my office yes sir oh hey oh, um, actually <laughs> one, one question one question one question yes do you have any recommendations on where we should go hmm which artifacts would you s did you say they were? We Sorry? Didn't. Oh, God. So what would I roll for insight on the, like, I guess it really is just... Why does he... <laughs> just just Why... roll straight insight. Yeah, which one's insight? Oh, is that... In... Which one's insight? There's an uh, exception. It's on, the... Wait, it's on the regular sheet, not on the... Uh... Pull up the actual... I think it's, it's oh, and, uh, alertness. I'm oh, so okay. used to D and D names, but yeah, roll alertness. Okay. Yeah, I was like, uh. I'm also used to D and D, which is why I'm like, wait, there's yeah. something here. All right, so <laughs> Harry, twenty-four. There we go. Like, uh, so that is a twenty-one for me. Twenty-one, twenty-four. You don't sense any malicious intent put it that way you see like, he also lives on this planet yeah so he does and not want to if there's one thing you know about shockwave whether it be one two four eight nine it's that his number one priority is cybertron oh. that 
His only loyalty is to Cybertron. He has no reason to deceive you right now. That's fair. Just the whole and again, thing. yeah, Unicron he... will destroy the planet if we don't do this. It means he's like, yes, I will help you so the planet doesn't get destroyed. Yeah, his stuff is here. He is also here, and all of his backups are here. Because yeah. if he had one or two only like on another planet, he might consider it. But no, they're all here. Yeah, so they're they're, they're all here. Yeah. Okay. And so I guess so this is gonna like. Well, um, so the ones that we're looking for is so there's. I guess it's like in no super particular order. Um, the Enigma combination is in Uriah. The, I'm oh. gonna just. Oh, you can sweet. Just tell him what it is. I'm not going to say all of them yeah. again in order. Just oh, like... sweet Primus, not the Maximal Tribe. And he shudders a little bit because he remembers what happened to Shockwave 7. <laughs> so the Enigma of Combination is in Uriah. Oh, sweet um, Primus, I am not going anywhere near there. The Requiem Blaster is in Praxis. His his non-existent ears perk up at the mention of the Requiem Blaster. Does he have his little head deals in your design? I don't remember. He does not. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the Chimera Stone is the one that presumably the DJD has, hmm. since it's around Polyhex. Hmm. Um, well. Not sure I want to know what they're going to do with something that has the word Chimera in it. Agreed. Um, the, um, the Forge of Solace is in Kaon. And then in the Rust Sea is the Star Saber. Alright, well, the Decepticons already in being in possession of one of the artifacts is deeply concerning. So I would put that as a high priority. But, if you can prevent the Requiem Blaster from being in their hands at all, that would be, I would say, more of a concern, seeing as the Requiem Blaster is said to level mountains with a single blast. Yeah, that, we should, yeah, that's a good... Galvatron is already capable of untold destruction. I can shudder to imagine how much worse it would get if he got that. Yeah, we should probably head to Praxis first, then. Any further questions? Doesn't seem mm. like it's there. Oh, Alright, and he gets, like, face-to-face -face with Harry and points at the door. Get out of my office. Like, that's directed at <laughs> all of you, but he's especially annoyed with Harry. Annoyed. I'm honored. And so off. off. And then so out we roll, I suppose. On the road. On the road, On the road again. Alright, with that, I'm gonna call the session here. Yeehaw. 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 <laughs>